what would you say is the most rewarding part of being a business owner? Uh, I think more than being a business owner, I, I don't think that's the rewarding part. I think that's the challenging part <laughs> <laughs> is, is having the business acumen to now run your business and deal with all the things that have nothing to do with what you actually do. Mm -hmm. I think the rewarding part is being an insurance agent. Yeah. I don't think I don't think it's the business owner. So I didn't get out of education to own a business. I got out of education to be an insurance agent, mm -hmm. which to me, there's a difference because the rewarding part of being an insurance agent is being the person that gives people peace of mind yes. with protecting their assets. Mm -hmm. The trust that I build with my customers, that's what the rewarding part is. That's how I can go to bed at night mm -hmm. is that, yes, maybe I saved them money. You know, that's always rewarding mm -hmm. is, is knowing that you're the guy that allowed them to to manage their budget. Right, better, right, right. Because now they have extra money in their budget to, to, to be able to go to the movies, which mm -hmm. they haven't been able to do, to be able to go buy a new car because mm -hmm. they didn't know that the insurance could be more affordable. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm the guy that, that in their daily life, you know, I might be responsible for their peace of mind. Mm -hmm. And also probably the guy that they'll call on their worst day Whoa. when they have a wreck, when they have a blowout tire, when mm. their house catches on fire, uh, oh. like mine did in 2013. Whoa. You know? Yeah. What, what, what happened? Or what, was, what was that like? You know, I, I wasn't an insurance agent yet. I was still in the research process. Uh -huh, I was still uh -huh. studying to be an insurance agent. Um, I, I did a lot of, of studying mm -hmm. of, of the regulations and the insurance industry. So in 13, I'm still not an agent. Um, it's July 4th of mm -hmm. 2013, and my mom's over for the summer. And we're in the backyard grilling mm -hmm. and I've had this grill for six years and it's up against the patio wall mm -hmm. and the kids are in the backyard running around the sprinkler, you know, and, and just kind of doing July 4th stuff. Sure. The grill catches on fire, but Whoa. I think it's the grease. No big deal. Well, grease fire, you know, put mm -hmm. it out with whatever. Um, it was the tank. And before you know the it, propane tank, propane tank. Oof. And I couldn't put it out on time to where the line blew with all the pressure, blew my, through my walls, got the fire inside the, in between the two floors. And the fire marshal says, if you don't call us when you do, and we show up five minutes later, your house burns to the ground because the fire was already in the insulation between the walls. Oh um, man. That night, as I'm, you know, I talked to you about leap of faith and divine intervention what I learned through this process was it's not about the money I'm going to make as an insurance agent. Mm -hmm. It's what my insurance agent did for me. Yes. The fact that I had his cell phone number, it's mm -hmm. July 4th. He's having a great time with his family. True. I leave him a voicemail and he returns my call mm. on, on a holiday, holiday when he's off and guides me through the process of what's to come. And gives me the makes me feel at ease to the point where I can put my arm around my wife while she's watching her house burn mm -hmm. down, kiss her on the cheek and say, everything's going to be OK. Wow. He gave me the comfort to be able to tell her that mm -hmm. that's where I realized this is not about the flexibility. Mm -hmm. This is not about the money you're going to make. This is about being that person that people can count on on the worst days yes. of their life because yes. it's not about selling a policy walking away and saying here's the 1-800 number and if they close at five on a friday but your house burns on saturday mm. good luck find me monday right that's not who we are mm -hmm. you know and, and that experience taught me that mm -hmm. and i know from you is you've prioritized being accessible yes um in your business so that when you have your clients on their worst day, as you described, um, they're able to contact you directly. They are, they are. I'd say if not all, most of our clients have my cell phone number on their business card mm -hmm. because I know and I trust that they're not going to call my cell phone to bother me, that it's going to be something that they need. And I wanna be 
we want to be that agency that that is accessible you said it. Mm-hmm. you know it, it's not about oh we sold you a policy mm-hmm. now call the 1-800 number it's hey we're here we're your agent mm-hmm. we are your representative yes call us before you call the company mm-hmm. we'll guide you through through the right. process like my agent did me because mm-hmm. of course the company i was with at the time they were closed on july 4th mm-hmm. most people are a lot of carriers don't have 24 7 you know hotlines and mm-hmm. that's how that's what we pride ourselves on yes. that's what distinguishes us from a lot of companies mm-hmm. is the accessibility that customers can have to us on a sunday on a saturday on mm-hmm. a holiday mm-hmm. because i went through it right and i think you have to go through it to understand why it's important for them to have accessibility to you because if i don't have my agent's number cell phone number that night i'm not sure i can put my arm around my wife and tell her everything's going to be okay because I'm not sure. sure everything's going to be okay. That's right. You know? Yes. <laughs> so it sounds from the way you're building your business in the independent space, you're able to help people from a financial standpoint, to help people to have a variety of options for their insurance needs are able to go to you. But then also from an experience standpoint, so it's one thing to have the financial side, but then the experience you deliver is an experience that is accessible and you know what it's like to have the worst loss at your home, right? Yes. I mean, I, my wife and I tease, but you know, the, the couch over there, you know, <laughs> she she, there, she has an um, emotional connection with that couch. Yeah. It was the first couch she ever bought as a high school, as a college student, didn't have a lot of money. She paid good money for that couch and it means a lot to her. But when somebody's house burns down, it's not just property. No. It's, there's so much connection emotionally to anything that can, can be lost. People feel the same way about their cars or, um, in a variety of uh, things that they can lose that insurance helps to cover, um, but you get a chance to serve the community by helping to be a voice of reassurance, as you said, during the worst moments. That's what it is, you said it, reassurance, because there's so many carriers out there, there's so many companies. Uh, We are blessed to have access to multiple carriers. Mm -hmm. So Rizzo Insurance Group, I mean, that is my last name, Right. But I, when I started, I said it has to stand for something. Mm-hmm. It can be Fernie Rizzo's company. And the acronym we use for Rizzo is we relate. R is for relate. We mm-hmm. relate to our customers. Yes. We are a consumer. Mm-hmm. We pay premiums. Mm-hmm. We had the fire loss. Yes. I, uh, yeah, I is, is the, the second name, but we inform them. We mm-hmm. educate them. So yes. to me, inform is a synonym to educate we want to inform them of their gaps Mm -hmm. of what they need of what will happen if they don't have the coverage maybe you can afford you cannot afford it at this time but we want to inform you that when you can this is what this coverage can do for you yes just know that if something happens in the meantime you're not going to be covered Mm -hmm. the z is for zeal and i think that's what miss what's missing in a lot of a lot of insurance companies is to me, zeal is passion. Yes. It's passion and devotion. Not mm-hmm. only passion and devotion to do the right thing for the customer, but passion and devotion to the industry, mm-hmm. to protect the industry. The industry has a bad name a lot of times mm-hmm. because premiums go up, because claims are not covered. To have that devotion to the industry, to be able to earn that respect for the insurance industry mm-hmm. with our customers, but at the same time have the zeal for our customers to be able to make that connection, that relationship. Yes. I'm your agent, but I need to build that relationship between you and the carrier I'm placing mm-hmm. you with. And the O is for options. So mm-hmm. R-I-Z-O, the O is for options. We want to make sure that I don't shove a price and a product down your throat because I need you to do business with mm-hmm. me that I give you the option, that I have options for you, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to place you with something that's in your budget, something that fits your needs. Mm -hmm. It's it's wonderful to be able to run through a quote and know that I have options of where to place my customer Mm -hmm. and find the right fit for them. Yes. So R-I-Z-O. I I like it. People think it's our last name, but relate, inform, (laughs) Inform, do it with zeal, options. Options, all right.